What's going on, moviegoers? So in this video, we're going to be talking about comic book movies, superhero films that were actually nominated and that have won Oscars in the past years. Now, I'm a big comic book movie guy. I love superhero films. And sometimes I feel like, yes, you know, they do deserve some recognition for the hard work that these filmmakers and actors and actresses, directors, producers put into these massive, big budget films. I, and I feel like sometimes they don't really get you know, the recognition that they deserve. Logan, one of the best films last year. It really was. And we have Black Panther this year, you know, that could potentially win, you know, best picture at the Oscars next year. I know that Marvel and Disney are really trying to push for the best picture category for next year. But the Oscars also did change up some things and added a new category for most popular film which is kind of interesting to me because I feel like it's a pity award that they're really going to give to these big budget superhero comic book movies because those are less realistic. Let's be realistic. Those are like the most popular movies out of the whole entire year. I mean, it's, it's, it's a pity award that I feel like, you know, these, these big budget comic book movies are going to get from the Oscars. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good list, a uh, list that I was going through and doing my notes about and, seeing all these movies that actually have been nominated. I was like, damn, I didn't know that was nominated. I didn't know that was nominated. So it was, it's, it's curious, it was a curious sight to see, obviously, The Dark Knight, one of the greatest movies of all time. But let me start from the very beginning. The, the Mark of Zorro, 1940, was nominated for Best Music Original Score. And then you had Superman, 1978. It won, this won an Oscar. One Special Achievement Award nominated for Best Film Editing, Best Musical Score. That's, a, that's that John Williams score. Can't go wrong with that Superman score. You can't. Batman 1989 won Best Art Direction, Set Direction. Tim Burton, such an artistic visionary. Batman Returns 1992 nominated for Best Effects, Visual Effects, and Best Makeup. Got the Penguin. <clears throat> Fucking that penguin was so terrifying to me as a kid growing up. Danny, Danny DeVito's performance as the penguin was just top notch. You can't go wrong with that performance as the penguin. He was so fucking believable. When he bit that guy's nose off, oh, it freaked me out as a kid. <laughs> the Mask. Yes, The Mask. The Jim Carrey's The Mask. 1994 was nominated for Best Effects, Visual Effects. That was a good movie. I feel like that movie's not really talked about enough. Jim Carrey did a great job with that movie. Batman Forever, 1995, nominated for Best Cinematography, Best Sound, Best Effects, Sound Effects, Editing. That was surprising to me. I did not believe it when I first saw it. I was like, Batman Forever? It's not like Batman Forever was a bad movie. It wasn't. I, I actually enjoyed that Batman. Um, it's not Batman and Robin, let's just say that. <laughs> the Mask of Zorro, 1998, nominated for Best Sound, Best Effects, and Best Effects Editing. Spider-Man 2002, nominated for Best Sound, Best Visual Effects. Still personal to me, that movie will always have a special, special, special place in my heart. Always. Spider-Man 2, 2004. It won Best Achievement in Visual Effects. Nominated Best Achievements in Sound Mixing. Pretty interesting. Batman Begins in 2005, nominated for Best Achievement in Cinematography. Superman Returns. Yes, Brian Singer, Superman Returns, was nominated for an Oscar. In 2006, nominated for Best Achievement in Visual Effects. The visual effects in that movie were pretty good for the time being. I will have to say that. The Incredibles in 2004 won Best Animated Future Film of the Year. No surprise. The Incredibles was a fucking fantastic movie. Love that movie. And also won Best Achievement in Sound Mixing. Nominated for Best Writing, Original Screenplay, Best Achievement in Sound Mixing. Iron Man in 2008. The start of the MCU. Can't go wrong with that. Love it. Was nominated for Best Achievement in Sound Mixing and Visual Effects. Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. 2008. <laughs> nominated for Best Achievement in Makeup. Let's be realistic. Those Hellboy movies, those the, the makeup people have done a fantastic job. It's ridiculous. Those creatures look beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Dark Knight in 2008 
Now we all know this. We all know this one. One best performance by an actor in supporting role, Heath Ledger. Definitely sparked all kinds of greatness with that performance. A performance that we've never seen before. It was anarchy. It was beautiful. And his performance will always will be remembered. And it won Best Achievement in Sound Mixing as well. Nominated for Best Achievement in Cinematography. Best Achievement in Film Editing. Best Achievement in Art Direction. Makeup and Visual Effects. So it was, it was nominated for quite, quite a lot, I will have to say. Because that film, like I said, The Dark Knight, will always go down in history as one of the greatest films of all time. Iron Man 2 in 2010. Nominated for Best Achievement in Visual Effects. The Avengers, 2012. Nominated Best Achievement in Visual Effects. Iron Man 3, the film that wasn't so good. Shane Black, thank you very much. <laughs> nominated for Best Achievement in Visual Effects. Captain America, Winter Soldier. Ooh, that's my movie, y'all. Nominated for Best Achievement in Visual Effects. Captain America, Winter Soldier. Will always be one of the top three MCU movies of all time. Can't go wrong with that. Russo Brothers, you are the best. X-Men Days of Future Past. 2014, nominated for Best Achievement in Visual Effects. Now, X-Men Days of Future Past is actually one of my favorite X-Men movies. It was great. The mixture between the young and old cast mixed really well. And the story was very meaningful and great. I liked it. It was good. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, 2014. Nominated by, <clears throat> by, sorry, nominated Best Achievement in Makeup. Big Hero 6, 2014. Won Best Animated Feature Film of the Year. Big Hero 6 was good. I feel like that movie's not talked about enough. I have it. It's somewhere around here. But it was great. Big Hero 6 was really good. Whoa, Men in Black. Taken back to 1997. Best Makeup. I did not know that. Men in Black won Best Makeup in 1997. Damn, okay. Oh, God. You guys here. You, you, you ready for this one? Suicide Squad. 2016. Won Best Makeup and Hairstyling. Still to this day, I don't know how that shit happened, but it happened. Crazy, crazy. Doctor Strange in 2016, nominated for Best Visual Effects. Of course, those visual effects in that movie were absolutely fucking beautiful. Gorgeous. Logan 2017, nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay. Still got snubbed. I think it should have won, but it didn't. It was a great fucking movie. What a farewell film for Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart. James Mangold, thank you so much for delivering us a film that, you know, Wolverine fans can really appreciate. And then Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in 2017 was nominated for Best Special Effects. There is the list for superhero movies, comic book movies that have won and were nominated for Oscars. Now, that was the list I found and came up and studied on. Now, I don't know if I missed anything. So if you guys think I missed any films, please post your comments down below and let me know. Um, but it's a long list. It's a long list and you know, I feel like this year what, what comic book movies do we have this year? You had Ant-Man and the Wasp, you had Infinity War, you have um, Black Panther, you have Incredibles 2, you have Aquaman. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe that might be it. But we still have a handful of great, you know, superhero movies that have come out this year and I hope, I'm hoping that these films definitely do start, you know, getting the recognition of being great films because that's what they are they're great films and I and I love and appreciate them so much you know and going forth in Black Panther next year Disney's really pushing for best picture you know and I can't tell you that Black Panther deserves to win best picture but it definitely deserves some recognition not best picture best director Ryan Krugler you know so there's other categories that this film can win besides that pity bullshit award most popular film no, not, not for us. Not for us at all. Um, but I'm excited to see what happens next year at the Oscars, you guys. I like, I enjoy the Oscars. I order pizza, watch the Oscars every year. It's fun to me. I enjoy it. But post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the list for superhero movies that has won, won Academy Awards and have been nominated. Post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know if I missed any films. And thank you for taking time out of your day to watch C-Roll Productions. Peace.